Welcome to Wednesday. It would have been welcome to Tuesday, but I was a bit pushed busy wise yesterday, so <laughs> I didn't get it done. So I've done it today. Welcome back. I'm Ian. And I'm Mike. Got a project to share with you today, a little bit different. I'm going to do a wooden box, but I'm going to follow Mike's lead on how to decorate it with some new, what's it called? Gilding gum. Gilding gum and the luscious mica powders, which are metallic mica powders. Well, obviously the mica powders yeah. are metallic. Uh, Coloured mica. Anything could happen in the <laughs> next 40 minutes or 30 minutes. And it probably will. But I'm not going to burn myself. There'll be no, hot, there'll be no um, glue gun use today. Well, it has been hell at loose here a minute ago. Bentley's <laughs> been running backwards and forwards with Teddy and Mr Nip has gone on the bed. So we've got a bit of peace. Yes. So these are all the bits that I've been through Mike's stash. When we do our resin casting, uh, Mike loves to do extra. <laughs> so we've got lots of bits and bats and... Yeah, if there's anything, any resin left over, I always have a spare like bits and moulds and stuff. And I just do random pieces because random pieces are great for filling in gaps. Which I've now discovered because he's shown me what to do. Yeah. So I have one of the Art Nouveau ladies here. I love that. It looks like toffee, that. It does. Excuse the colour. They're all cast out of, when we've cast in different times. Mm. Two clocks. But that's the beauty, you see. You, when you paint them all with either white or black gesso, yeah. they're all unified anyway, and it takes gesso really, really well. It's a lovely the, curly cue. Mm -hmm. Which you can see on the screen. Yep. Yeah. Some large hexagonal bolt, 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 he bolt heads. Bolt heads, I think so. Yes. Two. I always get confused between bolts and nuts. Two little, two little flowers. Mm-hmm. Four of the cross screws. Yeah. A little hexagon one there, tiny little one. Oh, it's a baby. And a leaf. And a leaf done with two different colours. Yes. Just and of course, you can. a box. A little magnetic box, which is so cute. I love that these. This was from our little local, um, little local craft shop. So they're really good. Nice and thick as well if you want mm. to drill them. I love these for machines. So, what I need to do to start with, I'm going to paint the box white first. Yeah. Because if I stick it all on, I'll never get underneath with the brush, as no. I've discovered no. in the past. So, I'm using... Are you going to paint it white first or are you going to put some structure paste on first and then paint over the structure paste? No, I'll paint it first then put structure paste on top because I think it'll disappear if I put the structure paste on first and right. then paint it. Is that right? Yeah, it's just that you're going to have to paint the structure paste again after you've done it, aren't you? So you're oh, going to yeah. paint it twice. Do you know I thought of that? This is why I've got him with me, ladies and gents. But he's up there for Why don't you just put it in the water? No, I don't want to put it in. Water's filthy. <laughs> It's don't not. say it's not because it is. It's got a little bit of it's colour got, to it. It's got glitter in it. Yeah. <laughs> so, structure paste. So we need some. Top left. No, top left. Top left. Whereabouts? Top this is left. Your left. Yes, hand. I know, but whereabouts? And then right at the very top. That that's one. the one. True grit. That's it. Ta-da! Indigo blue, junk and mm -hmm. disorderly. Yeah. Okay. You get a lot in this pack. You certainly do. Love your neck. And there's a spatula clark. Spatula clark. So I've gone for, is it your damaged damask? Grunge damask, which is um, back in stock if you're interested. Oh, hey, quick advert there. Shameless plug. I know you keep the, the knife quite flat when you do it, don't you? Went off the corner of the table. There we are. You don't need any coaching to do this because you've done this so many times. I mean, it's going to be right. Ta da da da. And then, as long as I remember, just that yeah, up the side. Just do with your finger. <laughs> Dirt. <laughs> Dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. There we are. Right. Do you want a, a wetty? No, it's fine. It's fine. Sure. That's no, fine. It's so, clear if you want them. So that's the front. I can, I can open it, can't I now? Or should I just let it set first? No, I'd open it now. There you go. And then you can just run your finger. That's it. And there, there as well. 
Thank you, mate. I've got a wet, wet one now. So theoretically, that should still now open and the pattern. There you go. Yeah, and I'll do this side and then I'll dry it and I'll do the other side. So I want to do all the sides because I can't do them all at once. No, you can't. Well, you probably could, but I can't. <laughs> I am but your Padawan as you are the master. <laughs> Gosh, you can hear the grit in it, can't you? Yeah. Am I too close in, do you reckon? Do you think I should be zoomed out a little bit? No, no, I think people can see what you're doing, which is fine. It's when you're too far away and they can't really see what you're doing. That's when you have problems. Yeah. It's a, it defeats the objects when they can't see what you're actually doing. It never ceases to amaze me, this, this whole stencil thing. But the fact that you get such nice texture from such a thin... Yeah! I mean, look at that. That's super, that. Oh, hang on. Open it from that side. And You're again. painting yourself into a corner, then? I think so, yeah. <laughs> there you right. go. So, the heat gun's turned on. So, if you yeah. want to give that a blast until... I'll just wipe up a minute. Yeah. It's important to clean your spatula, because otherwise, if it dries on... It's a devil it's to a get devil off. to get off, isn't it? I'll just shut that up because I don't really want to uh, want to get that dry in the content. Oh dear. What? Just bang the box with a bottle. Yeah, it'll be alright. No, stop laughing as well. I can hear you all at home laughing. <laughs> right, I'll just dry this uh, dry this with a heat gun. Yeah, that's what happens when you leave it to dry with it. That was still on. Wasn't me. No, it was. It was? No, it wasn't. Oh good. And it's dry, as if by magic. <laughs> as if by magic. Yeah. So I'm just going to do the last side now. My coffee's cold. Oh dear. How did that happen? I don't know. Sack the staff. The parlourmaid. I'm going to get a card. Elsie. <laughs> Elsie the parlourmaid. It's just the... the you look at it and you don't think there's any grit in it at all, but... <laughs> well, this is the fine one. They used to also do um, a coarse one, which they've not had in for a while. They used to swear at you when you... Oh! <laughs> and the language. <laughs> <Talking> of swearing. <laughs> I'm going to have to make the video an 18 now. If he wants. There we go. Are you? No. I can always bleep it out in post. <laughs> Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> British bad language. Oh, that's not too bad. No. Would you do, put that in some water, please, young man? Yes. I don't think that's too bad. It's on the side, anyway. I'm not going to put it on the back, because the hinges are on the back. Just tilling in, I'm not going to put any on the back because the hinges on the back and it's going to make it really complicating. And I don't do complicating very well. Well, I do, but not, not with this kind of thing. Right, let's clean that up and I'll dry that before I get it all over my head. Look at the state of this. When you just started. I, know what I forgot to do, I forgot to open it. So make sure it's, it's not stuck together. There we are. It was sticking together. There we go. Just have to clean the stencil with a toothbrush. Oh, thank you. I'll tell you who's. That's all right then. Right, just saying, I just forgot to uh, run my finger through it. To... <laughs> oh, I got a bit close to my hand then. <laughs> I think that's dry. Maybe just a tad longer. Tad longer. Come back to us in a minute then. So that's done, texture paste all finished, put that away in the box up top. We're all dry, I've made a bit of a hash of that side, but Mike says it'll all cover up. Of course it will. So that's good. So I just paint it with gesso now, Mike? Yep. Thank you. Do I need to water it down at all? No. Nope. Even though it's quite gloopy? Well, if it's really, really thick, but it shouldn't make any difference because it's only a thin ground anyway. As soon as you start painting it on, you'll be able to see the texture come through. Oh yeah, you can. So as long as you can still see it once the paint's on top, which you can. I might just put a little bit of water on my mat. I 
But well, don't forget, it is going to soak into the wood a little bit anyway. Yeah, it is. That's very true. I've gone for a white base rather than a black base that I normally have. I just fancied a bit of a change. Mr. Bentley's not all impressed. He's just stuck his nose under his blanket. Has it? Yeah. It's all a bit much for him. There we go. Nipper's fast asleep. Mm, I put my phone down somewhere and it's disappeared. Oh dear, it's been stolen by phone thieves. Phone's there. Have you seen this phone? <laughs> there we go. Do it like this. I'm going to put some bears or something under the bottom of it when I've finished it to uh, cover at the bottom. The texture paste is really clever, isn't it? In if you, what way? Well, it, it, it's thick, but yeah, it dries quite thin, if you see what I mean. It's quite gloopy, but when you put it through the, the stencil, it uh, creates just like a little bit of a thin layer. Yeah. And it all shines through. That one. I just washed it down just a fraction. <laughs> you you can like paint aside if you want to and then dry it so it's easy to hold. I'm going to do all the base first and then I'll do the lid. I'll dry it first before I do the lid. It's a very, very pretty one this one. You say it's dam damaged damask. Grunge damask. Grunge damask. Yeah. Damaged damask a different one. Um. No, we've never done a, or I've never done a damage to mass. That was another company we designed the one for. Oh, uh, was it? Yeah. There we are. So, so I'll just put the top on there because I don't really want to be drying it. I'll just put it back in a minute. Quicker than I thought, I forgot to paint the back. <laughs> Duh. Never even got out the starting gate that one. Didn't, did it? Didn't, did it? I just want to. I don't want to paint the hinges. Unless I definitely have to, but there we go. There we go. That's that done. I think the hinges are lovely, all the shiny brass. Lovely brass colour. Lovely brass colour indeed. Top back on there and heat gun again. What I have discovered is if you get the the um, texture paste too hot it bubbles, doesn't it? Yes. The air inside it expands. Right. As most things do when they get hot. Yes. Like my waistline. To understand that. Are you hot then? Wait, are you saying I'm fat? Are you saying you're fat? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. There we are. I'm just do that one on the back and the top and we're there. Don't take long does it? Yeah. It doesn't look too bad now with the mess I made of the stenciling. Oh yeah. There we are. Once you've got a layer of paint on, a unifying layer. Yes. It covers a multitude of sins. Thank heavens. Literally. There we go. There we are. And then just a bit on the top. I'm going to get another coat anyway with it when I put all the, the resin on. The resin bits. It's a bit of a shame really because it's going to cover up that lovely grain but well, you know it is what it is. Omelets and eggs and all that. Yeah absolutely. Okay put that in there Mike. So, yep. And I'll leave it out actually because I need it in a minute to paint everything right, right okay. once I... Because you're determined not to clean the brush as much as you in more than once. Yes. I've learnt a very valuable lesson over the last couple of months. What's I'm that? staying away from the hot glue gun. <laughs> so today I'm going to use super thick slap it on from Indigo Blue. Right, so this is a super thick heavy body gel. Look at that. Yeah, gel medium. Okay. I'll so just 
I'll just get my phone and my photo of my box. So I took a photo before I started. <laughs> so just before you go on, so this super thick slap it on. This one is just from Indigo Blue, just because. That's an old label, isn't it? It is an old label, yeah. Um, because I've had this for ages. Um, but the thing with this is, yeah. Thank you. I'm just trying to lean over your shoulder. Is that you can also use this for stenciling, like you know, like like your texture. Oh, really? really? Yeah. The only thing with this is it goes completely clear. Oh. So, yeah, you can use it because it's that thick. See how thick it is then. Oh, bloody hell! On my neck, rather. Sorry. <laughs> Language is appalling today, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is. Right. So, do I just put a little bit on the back? Yes. How That's much? It. That's, oh, cut off. It's going to squeeze out. It is. That's true. The photo stop disappearing off my blooming phone. <laughs> right, so that goes there. So because this is the, this is also that you have to make sure that it, it is the the right way up, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. Um, because this is the top, you can afford to have them um, stuck out. Yeah. Proud. Do you know what? I completely lost the words then. Okay, and then that one. Then we've got. Thing. That's all right. I've got it now. I was going to say, wouldn't it be easier if you transferred it over to a computer so you can actually have it on the big screen? You can just look across. No, it's all right. Just because we've got a new, just because he's got a new computer. <laughs> it's just that your screen obviously goes off. It's all right. Don't worry about it. I'll just memorise it now. Yeah. Okay. There you go. You don't need a lot, do you? This. Nope. You're like a thick PVA then? Uh, I couldn't possibly comment on the chemistry. Right. Oh yeah. Feels like a thick PVA to me. Okay, and then I need the large See, one. On that, on the photograph. Yeah. It's you've got that curl there, which is sticking out oh, over the edge right, okay. of the box. That's it. Sure, and that's sure. the other beauty about using this stuff rather than. That's better. Yeah, and you're a bit further this way as well. You won't see it. I know it's there. <laughs> like that. Yeah, if we look at the photo. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. So then I need to put some top there. Some yeah, just on the corners. Some up there, and then some down here. Yep. There we go. Smells nice. Right, to I, eat you gonna, I was going to say, I thought you were going to lick that off your finger then. I was going to say, don't do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I need a rose. I'm going to bring it, your camera a bit further forward there because it's easier for me to reach to keep it turned on. So this is an ickle flower. Yeah, it's going there. Yeah. Yep. You put it right up against the circle. Yeah. And there's a flower to go down here. Yeah. What's good as well, I suppose, is if you, you if you put plenty on it, it sinks into the. Yes, it, it sinks and grips. So I would have put just a little bit more on there, but I think you're okay. Because there's a bit of a cavity underneath there. That's it. Film a cavity. It's a dentist, isn't it? Yeah. Right. It's uh, moving on quickly. Yes, very quickly. And then there's. I can't let me do this one. <laughs> Slide it onto that. <laughs> and then that one just goes on top of the yeah, centre. Just a little bit. That's it. So what you can do, if if you've got a little bit of the structure paste on, you can just get a dry brush in a second and just brush it off. There you go, a little detail brush there. Thank you. That's it. There we are. There we are. Marvellous. Marvellous. And these are the bits that go on the side, so mm -hmm. I'll just get this, let this dry for a little while. Okay. And we'll come back and we'll do the sides then as well. I'll put the top on. Mm -hmm. Because if not, it'll set and I'll get shouted at. You will. So I'll just dry it. Oh, don't forget, in your spatula. Yep. Uh, just to stop that gess, that brush with the gess one from drying out. Yeah. This is a, just put it on top of that wet wipe. Yeah, nobody can see. It's off the screen. Yeah. Right, just wrap it up. Oh, 
Oh, cool. That way it'll stop it from drying out. Right, so that's wrapped up so it doesn't dry out. I'm gonna just put, I'm gonna can I fettle with the heat gun? Does it matter? Or does it you can use the heat gun if you but want just to. Just lightly. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Back in a minute then. Okay. So that's all dry. No burnt fingers. Fantastic <laughs> result. So I've just got to stick on. I'm putting on the fleur de lis on the front. I've got four screws to put on the front as well as that. Very nice. And then I'm going to put two of those on. One on each side of those. Give it a little bit of detail on each side. So as before, I'll use this very thick slap it on. The dogs have come to come to play, both yes, of them. I'm being snuggled by with the tree at the moment. Yes. Uh, I'm not complaining. So if they were if they were Oops. if they were puppy whippets, yes. it would be puppetry, wouldn't it? Yeah, uh, it would, wouldn't it? I've only put glue on the bottom. So it's not not up the top. No, because you still want to be able to open the box. Open the box up, yeah. Yeah. Can you still open the box with the angle? Yes, lovely. A bit of glue on that. All right. That. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. Just want to use that little brush from before, just to get that out of there. Yeah. And that out of there. That's better. <laughs> okay, and then I need to stick on these little chappies. Hello, Mr. Nip. Hello, sweetie. Nip has come to see what's going on. He's, he's really fitting in really well. He is. He's in love. Ooh. He's certainly putting weight on now. He is. Which yeah. is what we want. I can hardly feel that spine now. He's lovely. Which you've all seen him, obviously. He's, uh, it's squeaky noises, Mr. Bentley. Squeaky noises, <laughs> Mr. Bentley, yeah. So that's that one and that one. I can't quite reach Nip's Ted because the door's in the way and he's stood in front of me being able to reach it. Oh dear. So. We both decided it's playtime together. Yeah. Look at these little tiger stripes, it's beautiful. Oh, we should have just... called you Tigger, shouldn't we? Yeah. Should have called you Tigger. We should have done. <laughs> but you can't really change a dog's name when he's nearly 10. No, you can't. That's <laughs> not fair, is it? Yeah. And the other one, go on there. Would we like that? I'm scratching his neck. Oh, oh, he likes that. He's smiling. There we go. Oh, catching to let go of that one. So they, will they hold if I turn it on its side, Mike? They should do, shouldn't they? What? These, turn it up that way. Uh, to... Give him a blast with the heat gun first. Okay. For uh, just a couple of minutes. Okay. It should... should stick. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, and then just that one, a little bit on there. That's it, just butter it very lightly. Well, he's put too much like those everywhere, doesn't it? Like you're making cucumber sandwiches. Cucumbre. Cucumbre sandwiches. Cucumbre that is sandwich. back, Mr. B's back. Okay, so I'm thought you were bringing Teddy with you. Well, that's a bit too much to work for. Yeah, no, you just left it on the landing, haven't you? So we yeah. can get up and go for it. Yeah, I don't know who this game is supposed to be playing fetch for. Because it's usually me that ends up going to fetch more than you do. It's called keep fit. Yeah. There we go. I'll just let those dry for a minute or two. And I'll be back, as Annie says. <laughs> oh, let's just line those up. So Just my ADHD kicking in there. <laughs> I'm all Are you lining the screws up? Yeah. <laughs> well, nearly. Partly, yeah. That was, there we are. So I'll let those dry and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, it's all dry now. Eventually. And it opens, which is, is even better. Are you doing this without me? Yeah, I am. He's over there. <laughs> I'm trying to work on Saturdays. He's working for on Saturday's project. I'm not going to be here. So I'm just going to paint these over with a little bit of gesso. This brush is about as much use as a chocolate fire guard. Well, you chose it. It's not stiff enough. Well, you chose it. There we are. Got one now. That's better. It, it just sort of moves the paint around rather than painting anything. Man, that's what his painting is, I suppose, isn't it? <laughs> that's what 
how dare the brush do it? Exactly what it's designed to yeah, do. How dare it, yes. So I'm going to get into all the details. I'm going to swirl it around. I just can't get over when we do this. I've got to raise my voice a little because my it's behind me. I can't get over how when you paint stuff and you put it all the same colour, you stick it on, you think, oh, that's a mess. But as soon as you paint it, it's like, wow. Well, yes. Because I've watched, I watched uh, Gabriella Pollaco years ago, do you remember? Yes. And she just took everything down and it looked like, oh, God, that's a mess. Then she painted it all and it was like, magic! <laughs> and because I've painted the box already, I haven't got to worry about getting underneath. Have I? No. I mean, there are those also that like to paint all their resin pieces before they stick them on. Really? Yeah. But I... I, I it's a bit it. faff, isn't it? I prefer doing it in situ. It'd be a bit of a faff, isn't it, really? Well, yeah. Each to their own. Mm. There's no right and no wrong. This is right. The whole thing about making it's, things. Oh, sorry, that's, that is right. But there is no right and there is no wrong. There we go. <clears throat> Which sounds a bit like an oxymoron, really, but... <laughs> or as Mr H quite often says, you do you. Who's Mr. H? Mr. Holtz. Oh, yeah, Timmy, yeah. Yes, you do you. Yeah, she's quite right. We all have our little... Oh, what's that? The hair. It's a dog hair. We all have our ways of doing things. We all have our little routines. Your syncrasies. Yeah, yeah. We all have our little minor OCDs. Oh, with me, sometimes it's major. There you go. <laughs> Uh, have you decided on your colour scheme for this yet? No, I'm, I'm winging it today. Oh, I okay. want to, to keep it light. Mm -hmm. It's a lovely and sunny day outside, so I want to keep it spring-like. I know the subject isn't spring-like, but it's got flowers on it. But it's something nice and bright, without being garish. Right. Okay. So we'll have to put our thinking caps on while this is drying, I think. I say thinking, thinking cats on, we'll have some lunch while it dries. <laughs> what sausage rolls from yesterday? Ooh, lovely. My sister came across and she brought some sausage rolls for lunch, but we'd already eaten. We didn't say no to sausage rolls. No, I did. Who says no to sausage rolls? Vegans, vegetarians. Are you asking then answering your own questions immediately there? Yeah, it's easier that way. From Paul, he tried one of the one of the in the UK we have a company called Pucker Pies, and they're supposed to make really really nice pies. So he had um, a vegetarian. Oh, I'm going off the, off the end there. Sorry about that, boys and girls. Um, he had a, a vegan or vegetarian uh, sausage roll. It's the worst thing he's ever eaten. <laughs> Says there was more flavour in the wrapper. You had, um, what was it, a cauliflower oh, cheese? Yeah, cauliflower cheese and cauliflower cheese and spinach pie from the Aldi. Oh, was it from the Lidl? From the Aldi. Oh, from the Lidl, yes, it was from the Lidl, yeah. I think it was, was it Christmas town? Uh, was it one of their Christmas pies? No, or was no. It just an everyday range? It's an everyday from? range one. Right. It was lovely. I love cauliflower cheese. Anything with cheese, really. Oh, that's right, because I had the, the sage and onion. Roast, not roast. Yeah. Which was nice, but very it was, rich. It was very rich. Very, very rich. I couldn't eat it all. <laughs> a, bit, a bit blocked up. Mind you, you've been doing resin downstairs, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably why it's the fumes. I thought I felt happy. <laughs> happy, happy, happy. Right. So we're just going to, going to waste any paint. I think all that lot's painted now. Cool. And the look of it. Dry time. Is it lunchtime yet? It is lunchtime. It's ten past twelve. Oh, good grief. For you, it's obviously not ten past twelve, but it is for me. Me and Mike, I'll just put a bit more on there. Right. I'll just paint down there. Can't talk and paint. <laughs> I've not mastered Can't that do time. two things Can't at once. Can't do two things at once, no. Like walk and chew gum. Won't chew gum anyway. I was told if it swallowed it when you were little, it used to wrap around your lungs and suffocate you. <laughs> there we go. So I'll, <clears throat> I'll give a bit, get a bit of heat on that, and I'll be back when we've had a bit of lunch. Yes. Because my tummy's rumbling. 
we're all dry. This is exciting, we're all dry. <laughs> so onto the, oh, just move that in a bit. I've actually, <laughs> I forget where, where you see it, because I didn't, there we are, that's better. Right, I just need to wipe that off. A bit of paper please, Mikey. This is the... Gilding gum. Gilding gum. New packaging. Yeah, same new packaging. Product. Yeah, new packaging, same great product. So I've squeezed some out of there. Squoze. Squoze did it. Well, yeah, yeah. Choose, chose, squeeze. Squoze. Duh. Okay, so, and I need to put roughly the same amount out of the of this. So about that, do you think? Equal amounts. So equal amount luscious powder to that's about right, gilding right. gum. Yeah. When you say that's about right. Well, I don't know, do I? Well, add a bit more. There you go. Right. And then we mix it together to form a paste, don't we? Yeah. Oops. Look at that. That's like action painting. It mixes very easily. I'm just making a meal of it. Aren't I? Well, remember what we were saying about people have different ways of different ways of doing things. Yeah. Yeah. How would you have done it, mate, differently, obviously? Can I show you? Yeah. Probably probably works. <sighs> we're just on the screen there. So thank you. God, this is a bit messy. So isn't look, it? so you flatten it. Oh yeah. Flatten the powder into it. Make sure you see there's a bit there. Yeah. But this allows you to make any of the iridescent powders into a paint, into a paint, doesn't it? Well, really? into, into a almost well, into an impasto. Look, that's not coming off the palette now. <laughs> so, and of course, although the paste at the gum looks white just, when you squeeze uh, it out, just squeeze get, it out. Do that. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about any mess. Um, it, it dries completely clear. Just leaving the mic. So I just paint this on here now. <clears throat> yeah. Because this is your this is your base colour, isn't it? This is my base colour, yeah. Right, so it's going to be a bit difficult to see on screen at the moment because obviously it's going to be reflective. Yes, it is. So it's going to be quite difficult. Have faith. Oh, I have faith. Just like Paloma. Paloma Blanca. Oh, my Paloma Blanca. <laughs> okay. It's sunny out. Let's try and keep it. Seems a shame to shame to yeah. ruin the weather. Going completely all over. So because you're giving it that white base, yeah, you know it's it's um it's gonna show through. Yeah, but in a bright way. Did you just have a bling on your computer, I then, Mister Mike? This sort of painting comes alien to me. I like to be all, all prissy with it and get it all so it's all perfect, but that's not what you do with this, is it? You just get it on. It was a it was an order. Oh well, lovely. So thank you, Kathy Blakely. Kathy, if you're watching, Mike says thank you. There we go. Oh, it's lovely, is this colour. From Santa Ana in California. I wonder what the weather's like out there. Warm and near. Heart goes out to all those poor people in the earthquake. Yeah, Syria and Tia in yeah. Turkey. Yeah. It's shocking business. It's horrible. Mother Nature at her worst. Yeah. We moan about the weather here in the UK. We don't have hurricanes, we don't have earthquakes. Well, we did have an earthquake, but it well, was only tiny. It, yeah. it rocked the coffee table. Yes, we very seldom get earthquakes in the UK. No. So Geologically we... quite stable. Get more earthquakes. Oh. We'd probably get more earthquakes through fracking than we would not naturally. Yeah, we don't like fracking. We think fracking's a dangerous idea, but it's hey, just... don't get started on that. No. And as with everything else, if you're not quite happy with the coverage, you can always do a second coat. This is true. But 
the thing with using the gilding gum is yep. it dries really quickly and it dries shiny obviously because it's a gloss oh yes oh, yeah. okay so you're going to finish that off yeah and then we'll join come and join again. me when, I've, when i'm just finishing off yeah lovely because obviously it's like watching paint dry it's literally like watching paint dry so we'll see you back in a little while so what have you done you've made a mess i've made a mess no i'm going to put a wash on it burnt sienna wash so what is it it's translucent so it's a, a translucent acrylic paint and this is burnt sienna yeah. and you've watered it down i have yeah right do i need to wash it down anymore um well it depends <laughs> Mm. Depends how. Oh no. This is where the panic sets in. Yeah. Don't remember, there's always an ugly stage. That's better. Feel better with that. Okay. Alright, so light wash. I told you, you didn't do that much. No, so I just light wash over it. Don't forget, it. it's going to go into all the, the crevices. Okay, so just paint it again. Yeah. This is why I actually cack my pants there, isn't it? <laughs> your language today is appalling it's just when you put it on it's a shock it is but like i said every project goes through an ugly phage ugly phage phage phage, phage. the phage was a was a disease on star trek Right, so. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Now, can you see it's already started to go into the crevices? Yes, I have. Right, so, if you want to, just yeah. take a, a wet wipe yeah. and just very lightly. Mm -hmm. Or you can just spritz it with water and let it run off. Turn it round so that, because you're at an angle, and just spritz over the top. Like that? No. no. Right, your lid's already at an angle because yeah. you've got something in the box. Yeah. It's going to run down that way anyway. There you go, and then it'll just do its own thing. Right. Well, that's clever. Right, I'll do the whole box and we'll be back in a little while then. <laughs> oh, have faith, have faith. <clears throat> okay, so we're all we're all distressed up. It looks like it's come from the bottom of the ocean. It certainly does look old, doesn't Vintage it? Vintage silver. Okay, so I've squeezed out some of the gilding gum. Squoosed out. Squoosed it out. That's yeah. the new word, squoosed. Yeah, squoosed. Oh, look at that colour, it's called bullfinch. Excuse the um, squeaky chair. It's <laughs> about right there, isn't it, I think? Yeah, that's about equal amount. Okay, I've got to try and remember what he's told me and about. Don't making. sneeze. And don't do that either. You can do it, just don't do it quickly because that just creates a draft. Yes, it does. And if you don't think there's enough liquid, Some just more. add a little more in. Yes, I think I do need a little bit more liquid. Just make sure that. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Just a little bit more. This plays just a fraction. Thank you. Seems a bit runnier than before, but... So that's because you've not put a lot of powder in. That's right. So you can add... I think I did put a little bit too much liquid. But you can always add a little bit more. I'm only dry brushing, so it's not... Yeah, I mean... Did Leonardo da Vinci made, made his own paints, didn't he? They he all did. did. Yeah. From pigments... And egg. Linseed oil. That was egg tempera, egg wasn't tempera, it? Egg tempera, yeah. Um, but they used linseed oil, didn't they? Yes. And, and pigments and made their own, ground their own lapis lazuli and arsenic. Yeah, for the green. So I'm just lightly. You don't want a huge amount. Okay, before you start, oh, let's yeah. just examine the bullfinch. Right, so this will have mica in it. Yeah. Right, but can you see what the predominant colour is? Uh, no. Right, which means it's a silvery colour. Oh, good, that's fine then. So I lift Very, very, very so lightly. That's it. It's 
to be on the edge of the flowers. Mm, just dry brush. Remember what we said about keeping your brush flat? Flat, yeah. And just kissing the edges. Yep. Because you don't want to be going into the crevices. And again, it may be difficult for the camera to pick up on it because it is quite reflective. It's like trying to work on glass. Yeah, I think you can, get, <laughs> you can just about get that yeah. there. Flat. I will have to keep reminding him. Yeah, you will. I know sometimes you can't get in flat when it's, um, when it's at an angle. Drying. Yeah, it's lovely. It's actually drying on the brush, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's that quick. You'll get the full idea, I think, when you see yeah. the... Remember to, remember to keep it flat. That's it. Yeah, well, I mean, you probably will get the better idea when it, when it's done. Right, remember what we said about the grooves and the folds? Always yeah. work on the opposite direction. So you come in downwards, so downwards. that you're not going into the grooves. Ah, so I'm doing that. That's it, yeah. Ah, yeah, see what you mean. And then that's what, that way as well, because the, the hair, and then that way. That's it, that yeah, way. so you always go the opposite direction to the direction of the grooves. So otherwise you end up dragging the brush into the groove. Quiet now. Yeah, I'm just because you're constipating. I am constipating, yeah. Pick up a little bit of the mm. texture. I like that um, damask sensor because when it's on a smaller object like that, it does look a little bit like it's crackled. It does. With it being Gurunji. So there's it, Not too much there. Yeah, that means you're also not keeping it flat. Yeah. I'm going to have that made on a t shirt. Keep it flat. Mm -hmm. God, there's too much in there. <laughs> there we go. It's a very subtle pink colour. I think we need a, a need a different another colour on it as well. Mm. What do you think, purple or? A... No, I actually think it's leaning towards green. To oh, yeah. be honest, I'm leaning towards green. And it just so happens we have we've got six different shades of green. Um. But I think what will complement that rather nicely is the olive grove. Because that's got a hint of gold in I'm it. Just getting rid of the, the warmth. There's quite a bit gone down there, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Yeah, oh, wipe yeah. it with your finger, that's it. I'm going to put a little bit of colour on the back just to tighten a little bit. I mean, you could go turquoise and candy green. There's a mermaid's tail, which is golden green, but it's more apple green than anything. I need to get rid of this then, don't I? Yeah, water first. Water first, of course. Makes it easier to clean. Mm. And then there's a teal colour, but that's more blue than green. Right. Ugh. Just, thank you. Ugh. Got it all over my hands. There we go. 
Lovely, don't forget to clean the brush. I won't. That's got loads in it. Let's push it in there and I'll, I'll empty the bin when I've finished. Right. Um, wet, 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 wet. Spray some water on it. Got it all over there, I'm sorry. I got it all over my hands. Ugh. Poo -wee. Like a dirty protest, you've got it everywhere. I have got it everywhere. So are, right. you, are you going to go with the um, the green then? Yes, what's the olive way, olive grove? Yes. Okay. Do you want to your squeezy stuff? A little first? bit of squeezy stuff, please, yeah. Just about there. Just be careful when Just you open a tiny, it so that it doesn't splatter. Tiny, that's enough, I think. Yeah, it's plenty. Yeah. About there? Yeah, lovely. And a tiny. No, you want an equal amount. Yeah. That'll do. That's the stuff you put on railway tracks. Railways, never <laughs> railways. <laughs> Pretend grass. Pretend grass, yeah. Well, it has got gold in it. Yeah. But it's it's a warm green, so it'll go really nicely. Because it goes transparent when it's dry. Mm -hmm. So you're just left with that lovely kind of greeny colour. Oh, that's lovely. I know there's not a lot for you to see, ladies and gents, but you don't really need a lot. There's more than enough there, isn't there? Yeah. Pass it to my assistant, Denise. <laughs> glamorous yeah. assistant. My glamorous assistant, Denise, yes. And then again, just very lightly. Denise, you normally call me Bloodwin. He's lovely. He's lovely. So what I made earlier, isn't it? I do apologise to anybody from Wales. So you're just going to catch certain areas? Yeah, just just very lightly. That's it. What are you laughing at? You're just going everywhere. I just like it. <laughs> Well, no, leave the flowers. Yes, I'm going to I'm just... <laughs> the green flowers. Works well on there. Mm. And just to... I was just going to say, you're going to leave the fleur de lis. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put quite a bit on the bottom and just... Lighten it up as it goes up. Just in the corners. You weren't really liking the pink, were you? It's a bit too pink for me. <laughs> That's much better. That's got it's got undertones of the nice green in it. See, shiny, shiny. Yeah. It's so shiny. And the thing is, that green that you've just been putting on. Yeah. How wet is it now? It's nice, completely dry. There you go. Little decorated and altered trinket box. It's really rather sweet. Is, rather pleased with that. Good. Okay. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, please give the video a thumbs, thumbs up, up to support the channel. Don't forget to share the video with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, 
you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. We'll put some close-up photos of the box so you can get to see it a bit closer up under proper lighting rather than this light. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that's all from us for now. We'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now. Bye for now. I've sprayed it so I can now wipe it off. Yes. Oh. Good lad. I do my best. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.